this year has been insanely transformative for me and I have for the first time been given time by the universe to really think about me and who I am and what I want to say to the world. Hey, what's up? I'm Lauren Haregi and this is A Seat With Me, a fuse. There's a million stories, honestly, that I could tell. Getting Gracie was a pretty monumental moment that I'll probably tell for the rest of my life. She's a huge part of my life, I love her so much. She's my dog, a little Frenchie. From 2018, I've pictured this moment in January where I was in Thailand and the girls and I discussed not moving forward as a group anymore. And I literally pictured a cage with a bird inside of it that was just, the door of the cage was just opened. And I'm, I'm the bird. <laughs> it's really crazy because I, you know, I started working when I was 16 in the group. And I'm 22 now, so that's six years of my life that I dedicated. Six very transformative years, like of adolescence, where I'm, tr I'm supposed to be discovering myself. And then I realized this year that I was so consumed by working and being part of a group that I didn't at all get to, to figure out who I was as an individual. I started writing music this year. This album process is definitely the first time that I'm really delving into my soul. I've been writing poetry and stories my whole life, but I really was fearful of writing music because I love it so much and I was so scared that I was <laughs> that I just didn't even try. A lot of the time a writing session starts with a really vulnerable conversation about something that's happened to me or something that's inspiring me at the moment. I've been seeking a lot of inspiration in relationship, energy. I've been exploring just the state of the world and my personal expression in it. The song that I like the most that I've recorded so far is not out yet. It explores my relationship with codependence. I keep getting new pieces of advice that kind of shift my energy towards more self-exploration. One of the things that I was told this year that I has really stuck with me is never take more than you give or give more than you take. Because I'm an empath and I'm a very, very giving person. And I tend to kind of make excuses and, and put myself in a position where I'm not 100% happy or listened to for the sake of everyone else being happy and listened to. So like I never take more than I give to anyone. But the second half of it about giving more than you take is something that I'm working on and getting back to myself so that I can have more energy to fulfill the things that make me happy. I'm giving myself a lifetime to accomplish my goals. I think putting kind of time barriers on the goals tend to make me anxious. <laughs> my goal is to keep, continue to grow as an artist and to continue to say my truth. I'd like to work with more incredible producers that just teach me things about producing because also a goal of mine is to learn how to produce so I can get my own music. Because I hear so many sounds in my head but I just need to actually focus in and teach myself how to work the, the programming. And I also want to learn how to play an instrument, like really know it because I can dabble in the piano but I really want to learn how to play the bass. I would love to have a seat with Beyonce or Pink and talk to them about their experiences in life because they had similar situations to me, mm -hmm. like started off in a group. I would just like to talk to them about what they felt because they're also like women, dope women in the industry, which is another f layer to the obstacles <laughs> um, that we encounter. So I, I would love to talk to either one of them and just feed off of their strength and artistry. Let me know if you can get either one of them in a room. I'm definitely looking forward to releasing more music and hopefully getting to tour next year. Do some shows for the fans and get out and start connecting with people in my music. I'm most looking forward to that. <laughs>